doing a totally random video that I wasn't planning on doing, which is basically the story of my life, if we're being honest. Uh, especially lately, I took a solid two weeks off of social media, not to relax, not to enjoy the fresh air outside or a nice spring day or sip cocktails by the pool, but I took off two weeks to finish my finals and graduate and be done. So I'm officially done, feels weird. I don't even feel like I'm actually, like I'm really excited, but I feel like I'm lying about it <laughs> just because I never saw an end to it. So it doesn't feel real. Anyways, making a long story longer, I was planning on just editing a video that I'd already filmed and uh, no, I got this in the mail and I was like, no, I'm filming this today because these are new and I'm just really excited to put these on my face. So, um, and I also feel really naked not having lipstick on right now. It feels weird. Okay, this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Set. Um, and they've had liquid lipsticks out for a long time, but they came out with some new shades. Sorry if I'm blinding you with the reflection. Uh, but anyways, they came out with some new shades and they sent the whole set. Uh, this video is not sponsored. They did send this for PR but I saw it immediately and since we talk a lot about liquid lipsticks on here and you know I'm liquid lipstick obsessed, I really wanted to try all these on for you today. I have tried these before, uh, ColourPop's liquid lipsticks before, but I don't really remember what I thought of them. I had the shade Beeper and I think I liked it, but this was back when they first came out with their liquid lipstick, so I don't know if they changed the formula, if they've improved on it, if it's the same. I'm not really even sure, so we'll just see how it goes. Also, it says on the card that these are seven bucks a piece, just the, not the whole set, the actual individual lipsticks, and you get like a full size lipstick for seven dollars. Uh, also, this whole set, you can buy the whole set for eighty-four dollars, which I also think is not bad. You get twelve shades, which is pretty good. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a real life kind of swatch, not just on my arm, but on my actual lips. We'll see how my lips hold up. They might end up looking like roast beef and not be doing much of anything by the end. Then I'm also gonna do kind of a mini review uh, of each one, seeing if they are uh, opaque, how they're applying, how they feel on the lip. Obviously, I don't know, should I do a long term? Maybe I'll just wear one for the rest of the day and then get back to you on how it held up and do a final review after this is all over but in this same video. So overall, I love the shades that they came out with. I feel like there's a lot of nudes in here. There's some really pretty mauve rose shades. There's some pretty oranges, a pop of pink, and then some dark numbers down here, which you know I'm eyeballing. <sighs> anyway, we're just gonna start swatching. All right, we're gonna start from the, the very front of this, like the lighter shades, because they'll be easier to take off. And pray for my lips, y'all. So the first shade is this one right here. It's a really pretty peachy nude shade. It's not capturing it right there. This is called Sunny Side. My first impression, just looking at it in the bottle, it looks really light and really nude and really pretty and peachy. And we're gonna put it on our face. Well, I mean, on our lips. The applicator looks like this. It's just kind of a, Pretty standard applicator. Looks nice and spongy, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, put this on my face. I'm gonna fast forward through this part maybe because talking through it is just impossible. So we're gonna put those on. So yeah, this is sunny side on the lips and it's pretty, I don't know, I feel like I was pretty accurate in describing it, which is surprising because I'm terrible at describing anything, but it is a very peachy nude shade, very warm and a little out of my comfort zone, but you can see that it is a really nice nude peachy shade and uh, perfect for summer, perfect for spring, perfect for kind of an everyday type of look. Also, as far as consistency goes, I am feeling this. This was a very nice light very weightless kind of feel to it and it felt thin like it was applying thin but it was really opaque so it was kind of playing tricks on me but as any liquid lipstick will do it is drying it does feel drying but I'm so used to it by now that I don't know the difference between a really drying feeling liquid lipstick and a non-drying. I don't know that I've ever experienced a completely non-dry feeling liquid lipstick. I don't notice it anymore. It's it's strange, but it doesn't look drying on the lips, so that's important. So yeah. So if you've been looking for a warm tone, kind of peachy light nude shade, go for this. This is really great. So next is this really pretty rose shade. <clears throat> I have because I just got over this horrible cold. I don't know if it's going around or what is happening, 
but it's deciding to linger in my throat right now. Anyways, next up is this really pretty, actually it's kind of a corally shade, it looks like on camera a little bit. Like this kind of corally, nudish shade. It's called Gingham, and yeah, that's what it looks like. So we're gonna put it on and see how it goes. I love this. This is like a rosy coral undertone. Like when I'm looking in my mirror in front of me, it looks more rose. But when I'm looking in my monitor, it definitely looks more coral. But I really like that it is a little bit muted. So it's not in your face. It's not super bright. It's really wearable. But yeah, the consistency was similar to the sunny side shade. Very uh, easy to apply. Very light and thin, but not patchy. All right, I had to take a mini break because the weed whacker guy outside was making it sound like it had some sort of vibrator in the background and uh, we're not having that much fun today here, I don't think. All right, so anyways, this next shade is the shade Relay Race. This one actually looks more rose. I guess this is what I was kind of maybe talking about. This is more rose. This is like a rosy, mauve shade. So we're gonna put it on the lips, see how it goes. Uh, this is really easy to apply, but I also waxed my mustache, so <laughs> we don't have any hairs interfering. All right, so this is the shade Relay Race, which this is almost a true rose shade. Uh, this, uh, gingham shade was definitely more coral it's a really nice rosy mauve i don't know what is all things good and perfect for spring and summer but i feel like it could be worn with either a warm eyeshadow or a cool tone eyeshadow and either one would work but love this one this one gets uh serious approval on my end i'm not really going to talk much more about the consistency unless it stands out uh, because i feel like they're all pretty similar the wand is the same the application is the same so i feel like i'd just be repeating myself all right, so next up is the shade most likely two, and this one I already know I'm gonna love because it is this really nice, I don't even know. It's a mauve a darker mauve, and I'm obsessed with any darker mauve, anything, everything. Give it to me. I want it. I already know I'm gonna love this. So most likely two, I'm gonna put it on. So this is the shade most likely to, and I am so obsessed with it. This might be my favorite shade so far. It's that perfect 90s vibe. I don't have any other way to describe it. I, I want to bring up colors and say, oh, it's a dark mauve meets brick kind of vibe. But no, it's just 90s. It, that's the kind of vibe it gives me. If you've been looking for a 90s lip color, this is the one that's going to be my new go-to as far as those types of vibes go. Like warm eye look, like a red eyeshadow or warm eyeshadow look with this lip color. Ooh. Honestly, ColourPop killed it with this shade. Obsessed with this already. Next. All right, so my lips are getting a little... Uh, so we're not at roast beef lips yet, but we're getting there. Next is the shade Fuego. It, it looks like a really warm, kind of toasted, toasted piece of toast. This is the shade Fuego, and this is one of those everyday lipsticks for me. I will most likely be wearing this every single day throughout the summer, and I think this one could go into fall as well with all of those really warm tone eye looks and all of the fall colors, and you can tell that I'm clearly needing fall to happen right now. So next up is the shade Punch Bowl, which looks like this. Wait, upside down, like this. <laughs> Looks like an orange shade, like a pumpkin shade. They're calling it punch bowl. I'm calling it pumpkin because we know where my mind is at. I 
Um, so as much as I don't even love warm tone lipsticks, I am feeling these last two warm tone lipsticks. I don't even know what's gotten into me, but I am feeling the pumpkin spice vibes right now. Though it's 90 degrees outside, I am, it's fall right here all the time. So I'm loving this little pumpkin spice vibe. Ah, perfect. Just a little bit of that in summer. Yeah, love that. All right, so the next shade is called Told You So. It definitely looks super orange on my monitor, but in person there looks to be uh, more of a corally vibe going on. So this one is a really great bold summer lip color. It's not super bright and bold if you're not wanting to go that direction, but it is bolder than some of the other colors we just tried on and has a really nice corally punch to it. Definitely outside of my comfort zone for whatever reason, corally shades, um, as far as, unless they're super bright and weird, are a little out of my comfort zone. So I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna give this a try throughout the summer and see how I continue to feel about it. But if you have a warmer skin tone, this, this will look amazing on you. All right, so the next shade is called Bugaboo, which I'm really excited about this one because it is a super bright orange, it looks like in the bottle. I love my liquid lipsticks two ways. I like them darker than my soul or brighter than, I don't even know. Oh, this is so bright. The shade is so good, like so bright. I am looking at my monitor right now, it is popping. I am loving this. I know I said uh, warm tones make me uncomfortable or they're just out of my comfort zone. This one is so good though, I can't deny it. But it's more of a wearable reddish orange in your face, perfect for summer. I will say the application was a little bit different than the others as far as consistency goes. Um, it did show the streaks a little bit like your strokes as you're putting it on so you did have to make sure you were extra careful to fill in any of the patchiness but i did i don't feel like it's overly heavy or i had to put on too many layers uh to get this what you see right here you saw me apply it i mean i didn't do anything extra so it's definitely uh i can't see now that it's dried i can't see any of those patchy strokes or anything like that so that also could be a thing when it's wet love this this is this is so good so next up is this shade controla controla it's definitely very very neon corally is what it looks like which we'll put it on and see how it looks All right, so I'm loving all of these. I thought it was gonna be easy and I was gonna be able to put away a couple to be like, oh, these are the ones I recommend, but pretty much it's all of them. I, these are good. The Controla shade that I'm wearing right now is similar to the Bugaboo shade in that um, they're neon and they have that kind of streaky application. It's not super streaky. You could just see your marks like where you're applying it. But even those areas, like once it dries, you cannot see that it looks inconsistent at all. It dries and looks really even. This one is more of a neon watermelon color, which I love. I was expecting more of a, not brighter, because this is clearly bright, but you know what I mean, like a lighter coral. And this is definitely a neon, but rich coral kind of watermelon shade. It is so cool. I love this. So perfect for summer, love it. All right, so next up is the shade Karma. It's a really bright pink, like really bright, really bright pink, but it looks amazing. And we're gonna put it on and see how it looks. All right, so this is actually called Good Karma and not just Karma. I think I just called it Karma before, but it's called Good Karma. And I, I'm living for all these bright shades. This one is the perfect bright pink, but it's really rich at the same time. It is on the cooler tone side, and that's totally in my comfort zone, which I love. I'm really shocked at how little product it took to 
fill my whole lip. I feel like I have absolutely nothing on my bottom lip right now because it's so weightless. I screwed up on my top lip so I had to add some layers. But the bottom lip, it literally took no product at all to completely saturate and get that opacity. The next up is the shade Splash Zone and I'm pretty excited about it because I love these types of shades. So we'll see how it goes. Um, a little nervous about it. I have history with these types of fuchsia looking reds and they go on patchy AF or just like really thin. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so the good news on this one is it's a really pretty shade. Not too red. I don't know, there's something about these reddish purple shades. It's definitely sheer and anywhere where it um, starts layering gets a little dark so it looks patchy. It's not super noticeable. It's actually a really pretty shade, but if I'm really being picky and looking up close, I could see that here, you know what I mean? Like you have to be really careful when you're applying it. I'll see what we could do out there. Regardless, I really love the shade and would layer it up a little bit with this one if I really wanted to wear it. Last but not least is the shade Rocket Man. It is this vampy purplish shade. I am so into this and can't wait to put it on my lips. All right, so that is, uh, this is gonna require a couple layers because it is patchy, y'all. Uh, it's one of those difficult ones. All right, well, I'm trying, guys. All right, so the shade Rocket Man, I would maybe compare it to Splash Zone, although Splash Zone, I think, was even more consistent. I think we're gonna we're running into that same wine tone that I was talking about earlier where once you start getting into those wine tones whatever it whatever it is about these uh liquid lipsticks and those wine tones it's like they don't mix uh it definitely is a little inconsistent in application required some layers even the layers didn't help the situation anymore. So there is something about these wine shades and I don't know what it is because I love a wine tone vampy lip. It's one of my favorite shades ever. I don't know if you could see on the patchy side, not too crazy about it. So of all of them, the only ones that did not perform as far as just getting a really consistent, opaque, smooth finish, were these wine shades. <sighs> Super bummed because this is such a good shade. Actually, both of these are really good shades, but I don't think it's a ColourPop thing. I think it's a wine shade thing. All right, so that's it for the swatch party. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a shade. And I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day, and then I will check in with you a little bit later and tell you how it went. All right, hey everyone, so I am back. Well, this is a different day. Clearly, I'm wearing a totally different outfit. But I had filmed, uh, I put this on, this most likely two shade on, after I'd filmed a review, but I didn't really have much going on for the rest of the night. Anyways, I really wanted to use this on a day that I knew I would be doing a lot of activities with my mouth. That sounds really sketchy. But, but I really wanted to wear it throughout the day on, on a day that I knew I would be giving it some good wear. So I knew that today I was going to the dentist and then I'd come home and eat lunch and all of these things. And so I really put it to the test today. And if you've already used the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick, then you already know. You already have your feelings about it, most likely. Uh, I did eat toast with like mayo and cucumbers and like all this stuff on it so it you could see it wore off which this is kind of for me at least a typical wear when I eat something that's oily like may maybe like a mayo base or some sort of like you know salad dressing or something this is a typical wear where it just needs to be touched up but it really didn't affect the outline of the lip so for me I find it's way easier to touch up when I don't have to redo the outline I could just fill in the center and be on my way but 
Overall, the most impressive, to me at least, was the fact that I went to the dentist this morning and they were pulling my lips this way, that way, up, down. My lip was up touching my nose, down touching my chin. It was pulled to the side. And I was like, oh my gosh, I bet I look a mess because she's also wearing gloves. So she's pulling here and if she gets it on her finger, it's gonna end up all over my face. So when I walked out of the dentist, I was just expecting to see a mess. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, it looked totally fine. I mean, there was a little bit of wear right here where I'm assuming her glove had kind of been and a little bit right here, but for the most part, it looked like I had fresh lipstick on. I couldn't believe it because a lot of liquid lipsticks do transfer, especially to my chin or my nose if I were to eat something or do something where it's pressed there. And I also think it probably depends on how oily my face is at that moment. But regardless, it didn't transfer anywhere. Like I didn't touch up any of my foundation or anything. So that's really great, especially if you have to go to work and then go to the dentist like during your lunch break or if you go to a dentist one day and go somewhere afterwards and you want to wear a liquid lipstick, it, this will not budge. You could just reapply little areas maybe that came off on, the, on your dentist's glove or something like that. But yeah, it didn't budge, which I'm super excited about. Now I can't find where I put. Uh, overall, I think this is really good for $7. I really like this most likely two shade. So I'm going to touch this up. All right, just did a quick and easy touch up. But yeah, that is it for this review slash first impressions slash swatch party that we just did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, let me know your favorite shade of all of the ones that I swatched here. And yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.